Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video to show you. This is an experiment I did a while ago, and I have been keeping it going for just a couple of my plants. Um, as you probably know, if you watch any of my other videos, I have an issue with root rot when using soil, probably because of my grow space, um, air circulation, all that good stuff. Even though I have a fan going, it's still not the same. Anyway, so for some of my succulents <clears throat> that I don't have in Kokodama, I grow them bare-rooted. And you can consider this semi-water culture, um, I guess, because it's kind of similar to that, but I just call it bare-root. Um because the, the plants are removed from soil, roots are cleaned thoroughly, very thoroughly. Sometimes they have to be cut back because uh, a lot of times roots that succulents have been uh, growing in soil, they are not healthy. Um, sometimes they're already starting to die back and, and rot. So I clean them really well. And then I put them in a glass or a vase or a cup or whatever it is that they're growing in. And then I only water the roots. I, I soak the roots once a week or once every two weeks. Not very often. Sometimes I forget um, because they're succulents, they forgive you. But they are thriving and I don't have any root rot issues, obviously. The roots continue to grow. The leaves continue to grow. And um, it's just really interesting. And it's not something I ever see done, but I've had some success with it. So of course, my focus is coleus and violets and other things like that, semi-hydroponics, water culture. But for uh, some of my succulents, I like to use the bare root method. So here's some examples I wanted to show you. This is uh, one of my aloes. It's a variegated aloe, very pretty. I had cleaned the roots off a while back. And this one needs to be watered. As you can see, those roots are very dry. But the roots grow almost like orchid roots. They look like orchid roots. You can see all the new root growth. Um, the smaller ones, the lighter ones, they're all very, very healthy and supple. And they don't rely on the water too much, but when they do get um, soaked, they absorb the water. It goes into the stem. The leaves are nice and um, supple. There's a little curvature, which is fine. I don't want them to be too weak and, and waterlogged. But um, you can see from the root growth here, you can see those green tips, just like orchids. Very interesting, right? Anyway, this plant has been bare rooted for quite some time, maybe a year. I'm not even sure exactly how long it's been, but, um, but doing really well. And you can supplement with some nutrient. Um, I like to use, since there's no soil involved, I like to use the hydroponic nutrients. So um, could be liquid earth, maxi grow, whatever you want to use for growth, not for bloom. Um, yeah, but they do really well. Here's a different aloe. This is another one. This is a climbing aloe. This one I just watered. And you could see all the new root growth, um, you know, coming off of those main roots. The white roots are the new root growth. These get dry, and just like the other aloe, they stay firm. They don't um, desiccate. They don't shrivel up. And uh, it's doing really well. It's even growing some new leaves, as you can see. Uh, and last but not least, we have down here my Haworthia. Now, this Haworthia has been bare-rooted for quite some time. I don't even remember when I put this uh, in this bowl in bare-root. It's been probably over a year, maybe a year and a half. I'm not even sure, but it was in my other grow space. It's now here with me. And you can see from the roots just how crazy and tangled they get without any soil at all. Look at that, very, very cool. This one I forget about way too often because it's not in this main grow space, it's upstairs, a uh, different room, a different part of the house. You can see some of the leaves are a little dry, like here, I gotta clean it up a little bit. But look at how many pups this plant has put out. It's just chock full of pups. And um, yeah, and you can see the roots, they're just doing extremely well. Uh, I'm gonna soak this one right after this video and then it's like set and forget. Then I won't water it um, for like a week or two, probably two weeks. This guy doesn't really need a lot of water. But, um, but yeah, when I soak, I fill the bowl with water, just enough to cover all the roots, and I let it sit there maybe about an hour, and that's it. I dump the water out, 
and the roots stay damp because they're still wet from the water and I leave it like that. The plant absorbs the rest of the moisture or it evaporates and or it evaporates and then that's it. And then a week or two later, I'll just do that again. Uh, again, you can put just a very, very, very mild uh, nutrient solution. Not very much because succulents aren't big feeders, but uh, it, it works really well. I mean, you could see this one hasn't been under lights. That's another reason why the coloring is a little bit light green as opposed to the deep green that the horror threes usually are. But I'm going to put it, I'm going to keep it down here under the grow lights, the LEDs, so it's going to be much healthier, much happier, and watered more often because I, I tend to forget about the poor thing. Anyway, so yeah, that's the bare root succulent succulent method that I use. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you uh, feel like experimenting with your succulents and doing the same thing, you know, give a holler. I'll uh, I'll give you step by step on how to clean off the roots, what to do. Hydrogen peroxide also helps when you're letting the roots dry after you remove them from soil. But for me, these plants are doing great. They're doing great, and you can see like all those bumps on the middle of the. I I, I can't use my hand, but on the middle of the uh, the base of the stem, like new roots are starting to come out. So it's really kind of cool, and it looks really nice in this glass that I have it in. You can see. And it's very happy. So something uh, I've been experimenting with for going on a year, year and a half. And I just want to share with you guys. So if you have any questions on uh, this little experiment, just leave a, a message in the comments section below the video. And share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it because of this fun stuff like you just saw. And click the little bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload, blah, 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 like everybody says. And I will see you in the next video.